Hello guys, Alexei is here. Today I will show you how to create a nice minimalistic CV in Figma. You can then export it to PDF, so it can help you to land your dream job. I will also share the mockup with you after this video, so hit the like button and let's go! The coolest thing about Figma is that it's free until a certain point. And uh, for our uh, short task, uh, the subscription is not needed at all. So I have my Figma open and we start from uh, creating an artboard. You can do it either by clicking here or by clicking your F key on your keyboard. And uh, from here we need to select paper and A4 format. This will be our uh, first page of our CV. Let's call it CV page 1. I called it page 1, but uh, try and fit all the information on the first page. Because the best CV is uh, the one that you can fit on one page. Two pages max. And usually we start with uh, our name. Uh, let's call us John Smith. Font, bold, let's have 60 from the left edge and 40 from the top. What is our job title? Okay. This will be smaller font, let's say 24, not bold and uh, gray. So it's less striking. Uh, what else do we need? We need our bio. This will be the 18 bold bio. Let's give it some letter spacing. And a lot. Okay, and our body font will be 16, black, yeah, maybe bio should be brighter. And I have some text already prepared here, so let's copy it and paste it here. And it's a bit smaller size. both 12 so we have a little bio section and uh, let's also create email section john smith at okay, mail.com this option uh, wraps the text. So this is the text box with the fixed size and this will just wrap this text. Maybe let's give a different color to our links in this document. And if you want this link to work like a real link, so after someone clicks it in the document, the email client pops up, then you go to the uh, text menu and uh, here you have great link option. This is how we give uh, this text the link properties. But if we don't want it to be underlined, we can go uh, here, three dot menu and uh, decoration section, we select not none. Um, let's move it a bit to the right. What else do we need? I think that uh, it would be nice to also include the education section here, but because it's very important. Let's put some university here. And because it's a title, we'll make all these small titles uh, 
semi bold as well actually let's give it um, the style so this will be h4 this will be h3 and then we assign this h3 style to these titles as well this will be h2 and this is the biggest and it's called h1 yeah, this one is body text and the green one will be a text link okay now what years have we studied in this university 2005 to 2010 and this will have the body text style let's push it down a bit there is usually a debate uh, if you should or should not put your photo in the CV but from what I know it's better not to put your photo because the person who looks through your CV they might judge you by your picture rather than by your achievements I recommend not to include your photo in your CV after that uh, the only mandatory section that we should include is the work history so we select this block we hold alt key and drag it to the bottom uh, that's how we duplicate something and call it work history here what we should include is the latest company that we've been working for the years and uh, what we achieved what we achieved is very important this will increase your chances of being hired here I will paste some text that I prepared in advance and you should write what you have achieved on this role actually we can make the years even smaller font I usually not recommend uh, to have uh, the fonts less than uh, 12 but in this example the years are the less important information so we can make them smaller as an exception let's make them not black let's change the years to 2020 2023 you know what we forgot to include the role at the company that we are presenting here so let's also include what we've been doing there now we can group this block by hitting the command G or Ctrl G on Windows and uh, we have a group so we just hold Alt key uh, and click and drag your mouse to copy this block let's rename this to another awesome company the years uh, something before the these years Two thousand sixteen, two thousand eighteen, one more.
and now we have the basic CV structure. My recommendation is uh, to be as brief as possible, highlight the main achievements in each of your previous jobs. So, for example, how uh, much the retention was increased, how many new users have been acquired, things like that. Tell a bit about yourself, about your interests maybe, you can also include it here. Let's add uh, one line, like I enjoy traveling and video games. One pager is the best bet. Don't be too broad about your duties. And in the bio section, tell about yourself, years of experience, your interests, languages that you speak. Include your education, your email, so the hiring person could reach you. That's it. Now what is left is to export the CV. So you select the entire page. On the right you have export. Click the plus icon and here select PDF. Export as PDF. Here yeah, let's export it to our desktop. This is our CV in the PDF format. Now we can apply to any job. We can send it to a recruiter. It is ready. All right, we finished creating our CV. If you want to use this Figma template, follow the link in the description section below. If you have any questions or if you have any suggestions for the future videos, don't hesitate to write it in the comment section. Thanks for watching, hit the like button and see you in the next video.